Unit 5, Lesson 9, using the partial quotients method. Number 1. Here is one way to find 2,105 divided by 5 using partial quotients. Show a different way of using partial quotients to divide 2,105 by 5. In the very center of this illustration, you see 2,105 written in green divided by 5, and the 5 is written in red. Above it, you see a purple 200. 200 times 5 equals 1,000, so 2,105 minus 1,000 equals 1,105, written in green. So above the purple 200, you see the orange 200. 200 times 5 equals 1,000. So 1,105, written in green, minus the 1,000 written in orange, equals 105. So go back to the top of the page and you see the blue 21. 21 times 5 equals 105, and there at the bottom of the page you see 105 minus 105 equals 0. So if we go back to the top of the page and we add the 200 plus the second 200 plus 21, we get 421. So we know that 2105 divided by 5 equals 421. Number 2. Audrey and Jada both found 657 divided by 3 using the partial quotients method, but they did the calculations differently, as shown here. A. How is Jada's work similar to and different from Andre's work? They both subtracted multiples of 3 until they reached 0. Jada subtracted multiples of 3 more times than Andre did. B. Explain why they have the same answer. They have the same answer because they both added up the number of times they subtracted 3 from 657. Number 3. Which might be a better way to evaluate 1150 divided by 46? Drawing base 10 diagrams or using the partial quotients method? Explain your reasoning. Using the partial quotients method is better because it is much faster. Drawing the diagram would take a long time. Number 4. Here is an incomplete calculation of 534 divided by 6. Write the missing numbers marked with question mark that would make the calculation complete. 534 divided by 6. 80 times 6 is 480. 534 minus 480 equals 54. 9 times 6 equals 54. So 54 minus 54 equals 0, and at the top, 80 plus 9 equals 89. 534 divided by 6 equals 89. Number 5. Use the partial quotients method to find 1032 divided by 43. 1032 divided by 43. 20 times 43 equals 860. 1,032 minus 860 is 172. At the top of the page, 4 times 43 equals 172, written in purple at the bottom. So 172 minus 172 equals 0. So let's go back to the top. 20 plus 4 equals 24. So 1,032 divided by 43 equals 24. Number 6. Which of the polygons has the greatest area? A. A rectangle that is 3 and 25 hundredths inches wide and 6 and 1 tenths inches long. That comes to a little more than 19 inches squared. B. A square with side length of 4 and 6 tenths inches. That comes to a little bit more than 21 inches squared. C. A parallelogram with a base of 5 and 875 thousandths inches and a height of 3 and 5 tenths inches. That comes to a little more than 20 inches squared. And then finally, D, a triangle with a base of 7 and 18 hundredths inches and a height of 5 and 4 tenths inches. That comes to just a little bit more than 19 inches squared. So I'd have to say the greatest area is B, the square with the side length of 4 and six tenths inches. Number seven. One micrometer is a millionth of a meter. 
A certain spider web is four micrometers thick. A fiber is one hundred thousandths of a meter thick. A. Which is wider, the spider web or the fiber? Explain your reasoning. Written in green is the spider web, four micrometers, which is the same as four millionths of a meter. Written in red is the fiber, one one hundredth of a meter. One one hundredth of a meter is greater than four millionths of a meter. The fiber is thicker than the spider web. B. How many meters wider? The fiber is six one hundred thousandths of a meter wider than the spider web. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 5, Lesson 9 using the partial quotients method.